My box is uh, a Tarali La Abuelita de Pueblo Heights and you know I just wanted to do something a little nice, sweet, I guess straightforward. But it's mainly to capture the uh, the wise one, right? The, the Abuelita that is very prominent to our culture. Uh, the Abuelita uh, for me is very important for their nurture. They're actually the ones who took the first initial steps to migrate to give new generations the opportunities of today. And so the hummingbird to me represents the wisdom, but I also wanted to give you a little bit of reflections of what was. And so here is the old Oil Heights Hotel. And so it's sort of like a mirror reflection of the hotel standing right over there. So you, and then also on the other side, you have the First Street Bridge street lamp sort of welcoming you on where you're about to cross or where you're going. But the importance of the abuelita is important. And I'll tell you a story. When I was creating this abuelita, there was a man from Boyle Heights who stood right behind me for quite some time. And that just to, goes to show how important and the connections that take place behind the art. The man standing behind me for quite some time, and I'm, at, and I'm tripping out on him because he's not moving. He's just staring directly at the abuelita. And then he says, you don't mind if I take a picture? I said, no, go ahead. So I move out the way. And I go, why are you so fond of this grandmother? And he said, it actually reminds me of my abuelita who is still in Zacatecas, who I haven't seen for the past 10 years. It brings me back to her and how she played a role in my life. So he actually helped give the definition to this box. You know, just, and, and that's mainly what I was trying to capture. And uh, pretty much that's it. So I consider it with Abuelita de Pueblo Heights, because if you look around, you see many Abuelitas. And, and for some reason, they tend to remind us of our own. And so I think that that's why, and also capturing the wisdom, right? The wisdom, the wise the age and so that's pretty what the intention of this box was pretty much so, so this one right here is uh, uh lalo lalo is a community friend who's been in Boyle heights uh, for quite some time and now he is sort of in charge of the end bar and he asked me to create a mural for him because the bar looks so stale and black and i wanted to take advantage of the black back and also keeping in mind that Vargas mural is right over here, which captures a male figure and it's a reflection of the Mariachi Plaza. I also got to keep in mind that women are of importance. And so for me as an artist, how do I take Vargas mural and sort of bring balance to Boyle Heights by identifying the women? And so that's why I chose the women as, the, as my subject matter. As well as if you think about the roses, the roses sort of bring purity, life, and the, symbol, so the symbolism of this, if you can, uh, the lighting, it feels as if the rose is coming from behind the concrete, which also signifies the hope, the, the light from darkness. And this is actually my brother's girlfriend. I needed a subject for my model, and my brother uh, volunteered his girlfriend for this. Nothing else is this. <laughs> And also, uh, you see the language that's coming out from our men, uh, mental state or the voice. Uh, I took this uh, from Alex Kisu, who is deaf, and he's very fond of uh, spiritual language. So I wanted to adopt a little of that, and so that that language can be uh, interpreted by anyone in any. And so this mirrors life from darkness. Alex is my model, and the memoir looks a lot brighter now that it compares to me. Flat, flat, all that. Thank you.